Hello, Hardcore Finance Podcast listeners. I'm here with David Kovacs, entertainer extraordinaire at the Bitcoin 2021 Conference in Miami. So, I'm gonna, your background is amazing. Tell me really quickly, and then let's dive into NFTs. I'm a technologist at heart. Uh, I'm the found, co founder of First Contact Entertainment, which released the game Firewall Zero Hours, one of the first multiplayer VR games with Sony. Uh, I'm also the CEO of Immersive Entertainment. And immersive Entertainment creates NFTs using volumetric capturing. We were acquired by Binko Ventures, which is a public NASDAQ company going by the stock symbol BBIG, which is now, uh, uh, there, there's a lot of discussion around the acquisition of Lomotip okay. uh, for Vinco. So Vinco Ventures, BBIG, is becoming a multi-international global conglomerate media company. I love it. Tell me a little bit more about volumetric NFTs and the motive. How does that all fit in? What the heck is volumetric NFT? What so volumetric that? capturing, it uses between 66 and 100 different cameras. We're in partnership with Microsoft for that. There's okay. two, there's, there's two uh, studios, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. And what we do is we capture the artists using all these cameras to give a full 3D experience that films at, at 60 frames a second and 4,000 DPI. Amazing. Once we do the volumetric capturing, we then take that content and we put it into a gaming engine like Unity, and we create augmented reality out of it, and then we create, we mint it through the digital ledger, usually using Ethereum, and then once we have this this uh, uh, beautiful content, that's when we distribute and mint it, we distribute it through our platforms, such as with the Motif. So tell me more, how does the Motif fit in, if whatever you can say publicly? Um, we're, we're still going through some announcements. Uh, we're publicly everyone hears of because we are a NASDAQ company and we're governed by the SEC and FINRA. So we, we have announced that we're in a uh, we're in a, uh, negotiations to acquire them. Um, whether that, you know, I'll stop from that point. Sure, sure. <laughs> but but uh, um, what I will say is this, because we're a public company, because we're a NASDAQ company, you're always gonna have authenticity with these NFTs that we create. Obviously, myself and the executive manager, I'm the CEO of Immersive, myself and the executive management, the board, we, we, we always follow the rules. We have, the, we have fantastic IP lawyers, a fantastic programming team, and that's very important because if someone takes and steals an artist's content and decides to mint it on their own, and somebody just spends billions of dollars for it, what's their recourse? Yeah. We are a public company, a NASDAQ company, we will follow the rules, we go through an extensive background on all the IP, and that's where the value is added. It's it's a it's an entire beautiful system of synergistic relationships between Lamoti, Immersive, and our other portfolio companies as well. I love it. So tell me, I'm going to change the direction a little bit. You come from a gaming background, an entertainment background, financial, financial, gaming. yeah, financial game. So many people say they don't understand NFTs, and they say, well, I can just replicate it. It's digital. You know, that seems to be the biggest naysayer. So what do you, how do you get people to come around to the idea that NFTs are a, a real form of art and does the immersive part of it, if you will, the 360 degree part of it help? That's a, that is the single best question you can ask about this industry. Let's talk about it. We have cryptocurrency, block, that's a blockchain, right? So what's a blockchain? Think of it as a piece of real estate. If I buy a piece of real estate anywhere, am I gonna get a title that says I own that piece of real estate? So blockchain, when you're dealing with the blockchain and you're dealing with currency, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, well, I own, I can track where that dollar came from or where that, that currency came from. The single most important application for blockchain, in my opinion, is intellectual property. When you have artists that are working so hard, blood, sweat, and tears, blood, sweat, and tears, to create their art, their music, this is their, this is their livelihood and people are just stealing their music. I mean, how are you trying to support an industry? It's not even supported. I mean, it's it's it's, it's just you're, you're just throwing away trillions of dollars of free stuff, right? There's trillions of dollars of untapped assets that are digital. And I was not an early believer of cryptocurrency. And I'll be honest with you, I still, I don't invest in crypto. I don't invest in Bitcoin, I don't invest in Ethereum. And that was my fault. And my friends, I have friends I made a billion dollars off of You should it. still do it, do it. I, and I do it now, right? Now I believe in it because I understand the application of the NFT. So one of our partners is Tory Lanez. This is all public information. Tory was one of the first hip hop artists to release an NFT sold out in 90 seconds. He is now with us creating an album. So let's talk about that. He creates an album with 
10 or 12 songs, people could just steal it. But what if now we can actually create a blockchain, a digital ledger that says you will pay $10 for that album? That's what we're doing. We're honoring Tory Lanez. We're creating a marketplace for this, this collectible that could be worth a lot more than $10. A lot more. Ted Atchard's like collecting baseball cards. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And what do you think Tory wants to do? What do you think our other partner, Chris Brown and Flowrider, want to do? Our, our, these are our partners at Immersive Entertainment Vinco Ventures. They want to create more stuff. They feel happy about it. Imagine you work, you know, 100 hours a week for free. It's not right for the artists. It's, you want it, You want positive energy, you want good energy, you want them to be rewarded for it. So I am so excited because people are saying, well, how come I'm getting into NFTs? Because I only get into things I believe in. It's my, whether the video game industry, my legacy there, I get into things I believe in. I believe NFTs are the future. I believe they are the future. It is an untapped asset. It's like finding oil during, you know, during, during the rush or finding gold you know, during the rush. It is a, it, it, there, there will be many billionaires made in this business. It's interesting you say this because I think forward thinking minds like Mark Cuban, for example, is a big Gary. bull, Gary Vee, also a very big bull, but both of them understand entertainment and they understand NFTs. And I love the analogy you made about baseball cards. To me, it's almost, it almost gives a different skew to the same product of, well, you can have a base product and then you can have the autographed product. You can have the autographed album or a personalized song. And yes, someone could theoretically take it. Someone could theoretically take a picture of your Michael Jordan signed card. Or someone can actually repaint a Monet and it's going to look damn near the original Monet. And many art studios don't actually know in the real world. But if you value it and other people value it, who are we to say that that's not right? And why shouldn't the artists get paid for the, for the IP? Absolutely. I mean, you're in the media business. Imagine you're doing it all for free. I am, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I am for the artists. I want them to maintain as much creative control as possible, and I want them to deliver the experience and to connect with their, their clients, connect with their fans. Yeah. I just want to make them more immersed. That's all. Where you know the mental health issues we face today in this world, it's so many problems. Entertainment and art is part of culture. It's escapism for people. So sure. why not create another avenue for that? Sure. I love it. I love it. So tell me, we'll wrap it up really quickly, but tell me what's next. What would you want to tell people? Where can they find out more about what you guys are doing and, uh, and get involved? How can they get involved? Well, it's, it's the beautiful part of it is, is, again, we're a public company. We go by the stock symbol BBIG, Boy Boy India George, Vinco Ventures. Follow, follow this, the, the news releases. We released, obviously, our partnership with Tory Lanez. We released our partnership with Flowrider. Um, and, and obviously all the other celebrities we're involved in. So you can always follow what we're doing and you can see all the portfolio companies and partnerships we have around that. Sure, well, great having you. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it.